Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A quick late night, early morning, wherever you are, market talk video for you guys. Heading into this Friday, big day on FIFA Ultimate Team with the Icon Swap promo coming out, possibly Player of the Month, and a couple other things as well. So I want to kind of cover some of that stuff today really quick, get this video up as soon as I can to you guys. Uh, and especially talk about what happened on the market today, talk about Thursday flips and how that worked this week and how EA really messed that up and how we've seen this multiple times now where they kind of drop an SBC that really changes the market. And I want to talk about those SBCs. Uh, we'll, we'll start by talking off on, the, on that uh, topic. Start by talking on that topic. So today in FIFA Ultimate Team, we got the flashback, flashback Lucas Peace Check SBC. It's going to be the best right back in the Bundesliga for a while. If you're going to do this SBC, I recommend waiting to do it until Sunday night squad battle rewards. There will be a lot of cards you could probably get for cheaper on the market that are maybe requirements for this. It's out for three days, so you don't have a ton of time, but that's kind of the best time frame. I know if you guys want to rock Bundesliga squads. That's going to be your best Bundesliga right back, in my eyes, until team of the year. So if you want a Bundesliga squad, and that's that guy's probably going to get in your team. Uh, yesterday, we had the strong start SBC that dropped some of the market. Uh, I have to go back here to completed SBCs to show you the one that came out today. That is the Volta Football SBC. Basically, very cheap SBC. Costs you like, what, 10K or less to do that SBC. And it, uh, it gives you a 35K pack. They also came up uh, came out with marquee matchups today with a couple decent packs. Half of a 50k pack, France versus Turkey, premium gold players, 25k. And then a rare mixed, I think. A rare Electrum player pack for completing everything. So there were some packs that came out on the market today. Specifically that 35k pack, the Volta SBC, which was basically just EA giving out a free 35k pack. is basically what it was, and that affected the market a lot today. You saw it on Tuesday or on Wednesday as well with that strong start SBC. A very cheap SBC and it dropped the gold card market uh, kind of like a little bit of a dip today it was more severe though because we had the 35k pack but we also had marquee matchups and some people doing peace check so on the market you saw a lot of downturn um, also quick new little thing here we got that nice little transition shout out to one of the uh, stream followers and Twitter followers for that pretty dope um, but this is the market on Footbin. Thursday after rewards, during rewards time, we were down here at 85 points. Rewards came. The market rose into the middle of the day up to 91 points. The market was nice. It was on an upslope. It was rising nicely on Thursday, what, which is what we like to see for Thursday flips. And then EA dropped these SBCs today, and it tanks the market because they were just basically giving out packs. They're giving out packs like that. Everybody does them. Open those packs up, and people sell those players, causing a drop in the market. So if you guys had weekend league flips today, a lot of them were probably, you were making coins on them up until 6 p.m. UK. That content came out and it dropped. We've seen that multiple times from EA already this year where they've come out with an SBC and it seems like they're putting out this SBC to stop the market rise. They kind of did it on Wednesday with a strong start and they did it today with the Volta Football SBC. So... This is something that we're going to have to watch out for because it seems like EA has kind of added this to their arsenal of some ways to kind of control market movements, dropping an SBC like this. But I want to mention that this is not they're not going to be able to do this every single week with a 35k pack and with marquee matchups because as we move on throughout the year, you have to remember, right now it's early on. We are in a very early part of the year. The game has been out for how many how many weeks? Like 2 weeks, 3 weeks, almost 3 weeks. Uh, there's still not a ton of supply on the market. Think about it that in that way. Um, the total number of transfers on the market right now is like what? It gets to like 5 million in the day on PS. Uh, once we get to like Black Friday and maybe team of the year times like that, you're going to see that, that number probably get 7, 8, 9 million. I can actually check over here in Footbin for live auctions. The highest number of live auctions, I digress. The highest number of live auctions to be seen on the market was actually 9 million. It hit that today. 9 million auctions today. It was 7 million before, so I was off by saying 5. But um, you're going to continue to see this number go up higher because basically the, the reason why this SBC 
the reason why this SBC affected the market so much today, and it was only a 35k pack, was because there was still early game, and there isn't a ton of supply already on the market yet. Yes, there's been tons of packs opened. Yes, there's been tons of that stuff, but we're still in the early game. And as the game continues to go on, you know, you're going to have more and more supply. Your supply is going to grow, and it's going to grow, and it's going to grow. And that's why we see player prices drop. The, the, the demand maybe stays the same for a Vardy, for a Sissoko, for a Ben Yedder, but people graduate from those cards into higher rated cards, into Lacazette's, into Firmino's, into Griezmann's, and you see the value and the demand for those lower rated cards drop, and their supply grows on the market as the year goes and as more packs are opened and, and everything like that. So as you see that supply grow, grow it's going to take a lot bigger pack and a lot more packs to impact the market. So right now we're kind of at this range. A 35K pack can in impact the market at this size and at this stage. Maybe, you know, in two months when the market's here after Black Friday, they have to do a 50K pack to make some sort of drop in the market. So I don't think they're going to be able to do this very easily all the time because they're not just going to give out 50K packs for us for free uh, and crash the market like that. But, you know, it's going to happen from time to time. We just have to be aware and be ready for it. And sometimes, you know, like today, maybe take a little bit of a hit. I have some Sancho's that I took a hit on today, 19,000 coins. I took a little bit of a hit on them. Actually, those were from last night. Um, I bought those at like 23, 24K, going for a weekend league flip, and boom, he went down 19K. I actually bought a couple of them today as well, like 19K when the Pichek SBC came out, and he went down after the packs were open. So that's what's going to happen with some of these cards. But the other, the other side of the spectrum is these packs come onto the market, and what it does is it creates more coins on the market. People spent five to 10,000 coins to do that SBC, and then boom, all of a sudden, instead of having five or 10,000 coins getting back from that SBC, you're opening a mega pack. Maybe you, you pack a Sissoko or a Mendy or a Ben Yedder or a Walkout, and you're looking at 30, 40, 50,000 coins coming back into your club from a pack pool, you're positive on that exchange of coins. So you turned in 10,000 coins and you got back possibly more. Obviously not everybody was gonna get that, but this SBC was so available to everybody today that the quantity really is what makes the market move. So today, again, you see this huge drop and it started to rise back up a decent amount and it's continually rising, but there are still some cards in the market that are very cheap. Some of the lower rated ones that don't have as much demand anymore um, or whatever the case may be. Some of these cards are still kind of low in the market. If you bought cards in this time frame, two hours after the SBC, you're looking great. You're looking great. A lot of those cards are up. And I think you're going to see those cards rise up into the next day or so, into Friday with the icon swaps coming. That's the second point and the, the, the good thing about this. When they drop packs like this on the market, very easy packs, it's almost like a lightning round. A bunch of packs are opened, cards come onto the market, prices drop, but... Uh, people have then have coins where they can go onto the market and then buy players. And that's the positive that we're going to be seeing from this SBC. Right now, Martial is somewhere around 60-ish thousand coins. Uh, if we go over here on Footbin and look at his actual price, what was Martial today? It looks like Martial's price has gone from... We'll go on the hourly graph and look at the pack supply today. So he was 57k before rewards. Rewards came... He was up to 62k at one point. The pack supply came. He dipped to 54k, rebounded very nice, back up to basically around 60,000 coins where he's at right now at the moment. And I think cards like this that are very desirable, very meta, are just going to keep going because people still have the coins to pay for these cards. This is a more expensive card for a casual, um, but people still have a lot of coins. So that's why you saw earlier today a lot of the cards that moved the most for weekend league rewards were the higher rated, the higher price cards. Lacazette went from 109,000 coins last night before rewards up to 128. And you, as you can see, he's almost back up there right now, 125, 126. After he dipped back down during the packs today, the pack SBC time down to 110K. So that's what I want to mention about this. If EA keeps putting out SBCs like this where they're going to kind of crash the market for a short amount of time and then... Um, you know, make it seem like everybody's losing coins and make everybody panic sell, you're okay because the market should be going up after that because all those coins coming on the market means more coins for people to go and buy weekend league players and push other areas 
of the market up. So there's that. I wanted to talk about that with you guys for a bit because there's kind of a negative to it. Our Thursday flips might not have gone so well, but it created another opportunity to invest and see the market go up, which I think it will go up this morning, Friday into 6 p.m. UK. We'll see what happens then. That's what I want to talk about next, the icon stuff, the icon objectives, the icon. Um, well, we actually got a car design. I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this right now. Um, what is this? What is this Twitter I'm looking for right now? It is um, Footwatch is what I'm looking for on Twitter. Over here on Footwatch, they have actually released the picture of the Icon Swaps card. This is what Icon Swap One cards will look like. The tokens, basically, that we're going for that we will have to turn in for these Icon objectives. And again, many people are thinking that these are going to be through SBCs. I have been led to believe through the Icon pitch notes that these icon tokens will only be attainable through objectives. That's what everybody has told me. That's what it seems like to me. So we're gonna kind of test that and see what comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the real test uh, of what we see with that, but that's what it looks like. It's only gonna be through objectives. Um, and people are wondering, is this gonna create some panic on the market? I hope not. I honestly hope not, because if it creates panic on the market, that's honestly disgraceful because there should not be any panic on gold cards and cards that have nothing to do with icons if this is purely objective based. It should have no impact on the gold market, on the meta gold market at all. It really shouldn't. The only area where it might have some impact would be on the icons. There could be some panic selling tomorrow morning of people that are thinking, okay, maybe this icon that I have like Butra Gueno. Maybe Butcher Gueno, he is in icon swap number one. Maybe somebody has them like, oh shoot, this card's gonna be very easy to get. One million right now. This card is way high. There's no way this sells. Please tell me there's no way that this actually is gonna sell. I'm gonna watch that card um, because that's very high. But let's say there's some panic on this card in the morning. That could make, that's the only thing that could make sense because somebody thinks, hey, I'm gonna lose coins if I don't sell this card now before the icon swaps come out and before uh, this card is gonna be attainable through grinding the game. If you see any of that panic, you might as well go and buy that card for your team if it's an icon that you want because those prices are probably gonna shoot right back up after that um, as um, people realize, okay, these, these cards are not gonna be attainable for a while. I'm gonna go back and buy my item that I have uh, that is in icon swap one. So that's the only panic I think you should see tomorrow. The only other thing that could cause panic around uh, tomorrow would be a player of the month SBC. And if they do release player of the month, it's kind of tough because they have Pookie that's already in here. He doesn't expire for six days yet, which is interesting because last year the Lucas Mora SBC expired on this date, basically. That SBC wasn't out for very long. They put this team of Pookie out for a very long time. But it seems like now would be the time where they would put in the Abamyang or the Callum Wilson. Um, and if you want to invest for those SBCs, Invest in the normal things, you know, Premier League, high-rated players. Maybe just stock um, some Arsenal players in your club as well. Get some other high-rateds off of Footbin. Check the cheapest players by rating. If you really think that's coming, you could go out and get some of those cards. Um, I'm not entirely sure. And to be honest, a lot of people probably shouldn't be doing. If it is a Bamiang, that SBC is going to cost upwards of 600, possibly 700,000 coins. And if you're sinking that much coinage into the game, uh, you better have at least a couple million if you're going to put all of that untradeable. You're going to put 600,000 coins into an untradeable card and for whatever packs that you get back. I don't think that's going to be the best value SBC at this point in the game. You're going to be draining yourself of a lot of coins. Maybe you can work on it over time if it's not too expensive over the next month that that SBC would be available. But I honestly think that SBC is going to be coming next week. We'll see what happens. It's like 50-50 in my mind. It could come to today, tomorrow. It could also not. So I'm interested to see what happens with the Callum Wilson, the KDB, or Aubameyang. I think Aubameyang is the front runner for that. But that could be the only other thing that I really see causing any sort of panic um, today, basically Friday, on the market. So again, I think you're actually going to see the market rise. As we looked on Footbin, I think you're actually going to see the market continue to rise here. The index gold going up. People start playing their weekly games on Friday. I think you're going to start to see that market rise up in the day um, and into the night on Friday as well. As long as we don't get anything too crazy at 6 p.m. UK for the drop on Friday, 
Should be just a lot of information filled stuff, probably a chance at looking at our first couple icon objectives and some single player objectives or first owner objectives as well. So we'll be looking into that kind of stuff and that could create some market movements. Maybe if you need to make a team with the nationality to complete some of the icon objectives, we'll look into some of that as well. But it seems like their goal with a lot of these objectives and the whole point of doing uh, the icon stuff is to not cause market movements and actually disallow traders to, from making coins on the market or allow you know pinched areas as the, the foot economist who now works for EA would call them. So I don't think you have to be too worried about a market crash tomorrow. There shouldn't be any much of a market crash. If there is, that's honestly kind of disgraceful uh, in terms of the FIFA community. I would expect the FIFA community as a whole to be smarter than that, especially because we don't have a loading screen for icon swaps or anything like that. A lot of casuals probably think it's a normal second week of FIFA, weekend league. I need to get my team and play games and stuff like that. So that's my thoughts for the market right now. Just a quick little market talk video for you guys. Should be a fun day on the market. We'll be watching out for the icons, possible player of the month, SBCs, and uh, yeah, stuff like that on the market. Hopefully a rising market as well. Good luck with your weekend league of games. Weekend league games, of course. Uh, and let me know how you're doing down in the comments down below in terms of Thursday flipping if it worked out for you or if you maybe lost a little bit on some cards that uh, were hurt by that pack supply. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.